needs. We desperately need your help. Tanya, we need your help. Come help us. So this is what we're going to do. This is what is called beetle kill pine. How beautiful is this? It has this gorgeous bluish gray hue to it. So what we're going to do is stain it three different times. So we're going to stain it, let it dry, and we're going to do that three times. And this is the color of the stain. Now it looks a little intimidating. It's a little dark. But wait to see what happens when we wipe it on, let it sit, and wipe it off. Just want to go like that. OK, this is the fun part. OK. So you kind of glop it on. You let it sit for a little bit. Now watch this. The tones of the wood really oh, come wow. out. Wow. So you wipe it off. And look at how gorgeous. Oh, I mean, that's beautiful. just beautiful. Catch. Right. One, two, three. Yay. Oh. Oh. I think it's really cool that they're a part of the whole redo. They're, they're actually a part of the entire transformation. Check out your door. This is my door? Yep. But it's orange. It's orange, but it's, it's called Rumba Orange. <laughs> Okay. See how good it makes you feel? Okay, it does. It does, and it's going to make your outside feel great too and look great. It's okay. going to add a whole lot more curb appeal. Do you need help? I do. So I'm going to give you this. So, what happens if we just add all kinds of crazy color to your house? You're going to be able to live with that? Um, well, hopefully, I don't have to live with it. Hopefully, I can sell the house exactly. and I don't have to deal with it. All right, so this is the second stage to this end table project. So, what we did is we picked up this little geometrical shape, okay? at a secondhand store, so it's very inexpensive. We're just gonna place it on top of the face of each of the drawers, spray some white spray paint over it, and just go even sprays. All right. Nice, you're good at this. This is perfect. Amazing. Then you gotta sort of get in, see on the side, so if you go on this side, check it out from this side. I'm gonna let you do the honors. And take it off. Lift it up, let's see what we did. Let's see how it looks. Woo, nice! <laughs> She is the host of Sell This House Extreme on A&E, yep. and she's going to be here with us today. I really do have still have tortilla. My, I'm spitting tortilla as I speak. That's okay. Um, how to decoupage pumpkins, which yes. is really cool. No more carving. Decoupage. We have three beautiful examples here, and I'm going to show you how to make this one, which is called the raven. I'm very excited. Yeah. I can't wait. This is all you do for decoupage. It's so easy to do. Anyone can do it. You can just get some glue around your house and just add a little bit of yeah, water. Yeah, you don't have to use the special mod stuff. Mod, yeah. right. You can just do water okay. and glue, right? Right. So you just kind of put some glue on the paper. So you guys want to help me do that a little bit? Put that sure, there. Sure. And then I'm going to I'm going to put the decoupage on the pumpkin because you have to put it on both surfaces. Put Slap it on. And then you kind of want to let it all get crinkly and goopy. And I like it like that because this is Halloween. It's a pumpkin. I like it like that. I like it like that. <laughs> we hand laid over 300 tile on this fireplace. I'm going a little crazy right now. I probably spent about five hours on this much space. Pick any paint color, pick any paintbrush, and just go at it. OK, well, my whole life, I've tried very hard and have succeeded in the, avoiding all of these colors. Ooh, look at you, fancy. We let it dry overnight. Yes. And now we get to take off all the tape. I'm loving it. I found a great way to spice up and reuse some plain old picture frames. Be creative with your artwork. I took a frame that had matting. I took out the old photo. And I covered the matting inside the frame with wallpaper, wallpaper that would fit within the design of the house. It was very easy. We just put glue on the wallpaper, glue on the matting, flattened it all out, got out all the bumps and nooks and crannies. Then slap some tape down for the inside edges. And then when you flip it over, you have this perfect looking brand new piece of artwork. You know all the tiles, all the tons of tiles yeah. that were delivered to your house? Mm -hmm. These were the pallets that they came on. So we took them, we ripped them apart, we cut them up, and this is the next step. So I came up with this super fabulous piece of art that we're gonna hang on the wall right at the top of the stairs. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's gonna pull everything together. So just take each, each piece here and just kind of brush it on nice and easy. Don't think about it much. Okay, so Angela, this is the moment of amazingness. <laughs> All right, let's go. I love it, I'm so excited. See it. Hold on. Oh my God. Oh no, this is not. Oh. This is not good! Oh. <laughs> oh, 
God, my heart is dying right now. Oh Peaceful God, I'm one. gonna cry. No! <laughs> well, I spent three hours putting this together last night. Well, there's only one thing to do. Rebuild it. And we gotta work quickly. I'm using a nail gun on these suckers. One, two, three. three. Oh! Any casualties? Oh, Any casualties? <laughs> we did it! Woo! Victory! <laughs> Five. I might have nailed it to the board that um, I was leading on, but that's okay. We, we can, can work with that. that. We can fix that. This is Tanya. Love She's it. showing off a pumpkin orange with a floral <laughs> motif. Button front cardigan sweater. <laughs> I like it. I think she may have actually damaged a vertebrae on that last We're going to turn these old sweaters that Daniel found into pillow covers for the living room sofa. So the first thing we're going to do is I mapped out with chalk exactly where I want to cut it. I like to keep on this bottom ribbing just so that you can kind of tell it was a sweater. Mm -hmm. It looks so cute that way, right? While Angela and I have been working on the pillows, Danny's been finishing off our tile art project. I like it. We're here with our DIY expert, Tanya Meme, who says you can do this much cheaper. Yes. Um, and um, you're going to show the, show us the process of how to do this painting. Now you actually can with fabric or upholstery paint. That's the cool thing. I have a photo here that I wanted to share with you. That uh, that was my inspiration. Oh. So it's not exactly oh. the same. It doesn't need to be exactly the same. No. <laughs> let's just start pulling out the tape. Let's do the big reveal. Let's here reveal we go. it. Here you go, Mark. What do you okay. think? Okay, let's just pull Look at that. Look at oh, it. Come on, come on. Just rip oh, it all off, you guys. That. That's wet. Let's touch in the wet part. Let's take these up. Rip it all off. <laughs> <laughs> I need more time. <laughs> I'm impressed with myself. Are you, are you impressed with yourself? I am. I'm very impressed. Yeah, I get it all. What do you think? Yeah. Who's there? there? Tanya Mene Hi, is here. Oh, Hi, Tanya. Hi, Christina. Well, you know, it's that time of year again to start thinking about decorating the outside of your house for the holidays. And that's why I'm here. I'm going to show you some fun tips and tricks to make the outside of your house look fabulous with lighting Aww. and how to do it safe and, ha and have a great time as well. First, the first thing you want to do is figure out what kind of a design you want, right? And I okay. wanted to sort of keep it simple in a way. And what I mean by that is all of the lights on the house, like the arch of this one here and all the way across here, even, even the, the icicles across the arches there, they're all white. So I kept everything on the right. house white and everything that's in front of the house red and gold. Simple. Simple. Gave it yeah. some separation too. Right. Oh, but you don't right. necessarily think that, you know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, and have fun with the lights. I mean, you can use all different kinds, like here we have icicles, you can use a spotlight, like let's yeah. say you don't want to go through the whole hassle of putting up all these lights and this and that. Put a couple of spotlights on your house, huh. and that looks great too. Well, look, what is it? We're looking at almost December now. I know a lot of people yeah. have already tried this, or they're going, oh, I still have to do it. You grew up you up north, now. and you started way <laughs> early in Canada, yes. right? It was a huge family tradition. My dad would start, I mean, we'd start in October because you want to start before it gets too cold or wet. Yeah, and yeah. then you have to take it all down. Okay, right. so. Man, can you decorate <laughs> well, a house? You. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Well, this was my, I, I love this room, and I really wanted to create something really special for Eileen. And Chris, if you can bring up the before shot, I just want you to see what this area, this is the outside patio of their house. There it is. So it's this good is to always, before. It's good to think outside of the box a little. Yeah, that's right, this before. is the before. Oh, my Let's goodness. Okay. Bare cement, Bare. a spare refrigerator, a hose. I mean, it was, <laughs> and now what's it look like? Well, I'm about to show you. So this is the whole room. The biggest obstacle in this room oh were the burglar goodness. bars that are right back here. So I had White, Knight, White Knight's designs come in, and they, uh, they actually did my wedding. They do all kinds of different functions. They're amazing. And literally just told them, I said, just get, get some cheap fabric. And with a staple gun, we just took a few folds like this, stapled, 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 all the way around. This is one of the techniques that they use. You made an entire amazing. outdoor seating area. Oh, how pretty. Yeah. You gotta it be, be used kidding all me. Year round. I never would have thought of putting the flower so, centerpiece on the ceiling. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's that right. That is beautiful. Look at that. Now, did the family well, have, have a formal... Well, from... Uh, I, I, tell you, tell you, I just want to ask, did the family yeah. have a formal dining room? Has this really created like a holiday table for them that they didn't have before? This is their table, so a lot of the, and these are their chairs, but each of the chairs are sort of mismatched. So what I did is I just, I went downtown, I got some cheap burlap, this literally burlap, oh. 
I pinned it, as you can see. I stapled it. This is very easy. That's I just got thing. some pine and just a couple of inexpensive bulbs. I got uh, everything else I got at Home Goods. Home, go Home Goods just, it was incredible. No, I had Home so Goods much fun in there finding everything. Yeah. And then um, the other stuff I just got at downtown. Very few things in here. This, and look at how it, you just fold it. I cut out a big rectangle and just folded it around the chair and I pinned it and stapled it so that it's on pretty sturdy. Very nice. What else um, do you want to show us? Then what we did, well, if you take the burlap, what's really great about burlap is you can actually take out some of the threads and I created a little bird's nest. What? And put a little, yeah, these are little, oh. these are little um, ornaments. I also got this at, wow. at uh, Home Goods. Everything on the table from Home Goods. <laughs> Oh, did anybody see that or was it just me? Oh, oh my god! Ew! <laughs> just spooky down there. So Tanya, is it going to this <laughs> one? Or is it going <laughs> We have acres of this stuff to put up. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that! So easy, okay? Good one! Why Listen, are you, making you just me you, do this? Look at how much you did in, in an hour! It's gonna take me all night! Well, maybe two nights! I do some helping of my own on a higher plane. Hi! Come on, Tanya. Let's go to work. Okay. Hey, I'm getting pretty good with these stilts. It may be too good. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Back. Back. Come back. Oh. <laughs> Two. Look at this. One more. We officially have one wall of paint in your entire house! Yay! Yay! Next stop, the attic. You go first, because i got to help you get up there. It was hard getting up into the attic, and finally when I got up into the attic, I was quite scared, and I needed as much support as possible. Charlie, I'm stuck! Hold on, hang on, help you. Oh, no! No, this is not happening! The stairs over there. Yeah. <laughs> All the jokes are at the butt of my expense. The goal in here, more space. And we're just gonna start taping. Just tape? Yeah. Oh, really? Just tape oh, really? Oh, How about oh, you start that? Okay, oh, that's so good. Ouch. <laughs> okay, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about this project. I think it's going well. <laughs> I go down to check on it, and they're lassoing each other with tape. Oh my god, I am so... Like it's like a weird Smurf bondage scene going on. What, what happens Daniel, when I leave the room? You know. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, Jackie Chan, and look out. <laughs> it's kind of good though, because I'm kind of scared. Well, I didn't actually go all the way through the cactus, but I tried.